guys welcome back to my channel this is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have a really fun tutorial to show you how to make a cute little mini junk journal that you can use as an insert inside your large junk journal but I have some items that I want to share with you first these are from Coca Rosa Studio and I will have the link for them down below I'm doing a collaboration with them and I picked out a few items that I want to use in my journals and so I was going to show you those first and then get on with the tutorial. So this is a really cute paper pack. This is for future. I may do like a Christmas in July uh, series or maybe one video or so. But I love this paper. It's six by six. So it would be perfect to make embellishments or add like um, just add pages into your journal make tags and things like that, but it is really cute. This is the front page. And there's two sheets of each pattern. And I think it has, how many sheets here? I think 24. I don't remember. Yeah, 24, 12 different styles. So I'll just kind of flip through. I wish they had a 12 by 12 of this. It was really cute. But I love that little girl there, so cute. So there's two of each, as I said. And it all coordinates together. And these are like little cut aparts. That. And this one is birds and poinsettias. It has a vintage vibe to it. This one. Some holly leaves. Those are really pretty. More poinsettias. They all have like a vintage collage kind of theme. And then this one is just some lettering that's really pretty. This one is really cute. And then the last one is like a vintage snowflake. So that is one item that I picked out. I just love how the, I, I just love the vibe of this, um, the vintage Christmas and then the rest of the items I picked out were metal dies. I have a Sizzix, or yeah, a Big Shot, Sizzix Big Shot. And if you have never used a Sizzix Big Shot before, you can use these flat metal dies in it, as well as the thicker, older style dies. That they're called the Bigs dies. So I have like maybe four of the Bigs dies, but mainly I have these metal dies. And I picked a variety of items and as you know I do strawberry shortcake theme. I love, I've done Mary Poppins, Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz and so and I picked out things that I could use like this hot air balloon I can use with Wizard of Oz. So I'm going to make this in a future video but I have these clouds here and the hot air balloon so I'm probably gonna do like an altered tag with this or an altered envelope something like that but these are really cute three different sizes and then for Alice in Wonderland I have the teacups and these are super cute and I apologize for the airplane noise in the background I live near an Air Force base or a Navy base. So there is the teacups. I thought those were really cute. And then this is just something generic I can use with any theme, but they are ticket shaker ticket dies. So they fold in half, they cut out the center here so you could add like a piece of, you can either 
add something here and have it poking through the window or you could add like an acetate sheet here add something in there like little um, sequins or something like that so I'm excited to use that and then here is a tag die set and it comes with the main tag die and that's probably what I'll use the most these are just like decoration pieces that you can use there's a heart set there so I'll show you that'll be in a future video but probably um, I'm actually going to be using this no I'm gonna use one of these so never mind you'll see this in a future video not today but I just I love the shape of that tag and then this one I'm gonna be using today and it is strawberries and if you have been watching my videos for a while you know that I love to make strawberry shortcake junk journals I usually sell them in my Etsy shop but I found this one and I had to get it because it has strawberries in it so I'm going to be using this die I'm going to only use parts of it and uh, you can definitely cut the whole piece out and use that like on a page or whatever but I'll probably just mainly be using the strawberries and maybe some of the leaves and then there is this layered tag set I thought this was really cool to make different size tags I'm going to be using the largest one today to make the little the cover of the mini junk journal and then yeah that's it I went through them all so now, if you want to stay and craft with me, I am going to make a little mini junk journal with these. So, stay tuned. Now, to start off, I want to make the cover for this. So, I have a piece of cardstock, and I also have a piece of this strawberry paper. I believe this was from Joann's. And so, I want it to be a little bit thicker because this paper is basically like copy paper, but you know, the thickness of copy paper. So I want it to be thicker and I also want there to be a, to have it be going on the back and the front, like a, a cover. So, so it needs to have a spine is what I'm saying. So what I'm doing is I'm taking, this is a six inch wide piece of paper and I just cut it enough so that I can double this to make the cover. So I'm just gonna fold it in half. And this is pretty thick. Doesn't need to be this thick, but that's what I have on hand. And what I wanna do is, I don't wanna cut this all the way through for the cover because I want it to have that spine. So I'm just going to hang it over one end like this so it doesn't cut that off and then run it through my machine and I'm going to grab some washi tape to attach it so it doesn't move so just place your die where you need it I'm hanging it a little bit over make sure that that the part that cuts is not on the paper that it's just hanging over there. And I'm just going to stick a little piece there to hold it on and then place it on my machine. Now this has the, the base part and then the clear sandwich and then put the top part top clear sandwich part I don't know what those are called they're the cutting plates I guess that's what they're called and I'm just going to send it through my machine go back since this is two pieces like a folded piece of cardstock I'm going to go a couple times here to make sure it goes all the way through and then this should be good 
off the washi tape. Oh, this was really sticky washi tape, but that's okay. I'm going to cover it up with my printed. Ugh, really sticky. Wow. Okay, so now I have my little cover here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut pieces of the strawberry paper to cover on the back and the front. So I'm going to go down to my next level here. They're attached so you need to pull them apart. Um, I'm going to need to take off these little nibs there. I just used some wire cutters and snip those off real quick. But what I'm going to do is make this cut two of that or you could just use the bigger one. I think I'm going to cut both ways out and see what I like here. So let me go ahead and lay both my dies down like this and send, send both sides as through. See what I like. Actually, it would be cute like this because then I can make this a little pocket. Down there. I think that's what I'll do. And I can save this for something else. I can make up something else with that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side and then we'll finish up this little booklet. Before I take away this, I'm going to go ahead and cut out some of my strawberries. So I have this pink left over, so I'm going to use that and cut out a couple pink strawberries. And then I have some red here, just a scrap. So I'm going to make a red strawberry with that part. And I'll probably make a couple more red strawberries just to use throughout the little booklet or a little mini journal. All the way there. And if I want to add the green leaves, I would then add some green paper to cut out here. So I may do that. Grab some green to get the top of the strawberry. have the little holes so the best way to get them out is I find is just to use a little straight pin or if you have like a little poker so I just have one of those ball pins that I use for sewing
loosen it. I'll get those later. And so I have these. I'm going to run a red through again and a green so I can get the tops of my strawberries. So I'm going to do red right there. And I have some green, so I'm going to cut little piece of green to go on this strawberry so I can get the tops the top of that and I'll do the green along there too after I'm done with this to cut the top of the red off and glue the red down on top of the green so there's more of a base for it to glue onto. And let's see what I'm do with this. Pop out these. You don't want to poke your, you just want to poke it enough to pop the paper so you can grab it with your fingernail and pull it up. You don't want to poke a hole in it. So there, about that. Last thing I'm going to do is just cut out these little tops to the. Let's see here. I'm just going to do this much. off everything and we'll continue on.
So I gathered a few papers here that I want to use in my little mini journal. And so, let's see, I have a doily, I have this scrap of vintage music paper, and then I have this gingham napkin, a receiving record, this is a music sheet, and then a pink, it was, I dyed this pink. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to cut it down to where it fits in, right inside here. I'll probably make it as high as that intersection there of the spine and we'll just fit them together. So I think the doily is the perfect size so I'm just going to fold it in half. This piece is already folded in half so I'll just trim it down a little so it fits a little bit better in here and I think I'll just cut it down to that line there and trim it down that way looks like it's upside down do it that way. There we go. And I'll just go through each of my items here and cut them down to so they'll, they'll fit. They don't need to be exactly the same, all the same, because I want it to be like a junk journal and, you know, be some a little bit bigger than the others, different colors, whatever. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I kind of like having this edge on there, so I'll just fold it and trim them all down. Now that we have everything cut down, we need to layer our pieces just like we do a junk journal signature. So you just have to decide what you want first. I think I want the doily, the first one, and then I'll just come in and layer these. And little signature and then that will go in there like that if you want to make these a little bit smaller I think I want to yeah I think I'll cut these down a little bit and a little more flush and this one since I like this piece I'm going to fold it a little bit make the spine part a little bit shorter here so you can adjust and then cut this back piece off just like that there Everything you might want 
to trim off a little bit of the Trim a tad bit off the bottom of the doily so that's not sticking out. There. That's good. And this piece will go on here. So what you want to do, you can either take this to your sewing machine and sew down the center, or you could do just a little, like a sewn, if you want to do a pamphlet stitch, stitch you can. Or what I'm going to do is just poke two holes here, take some twine and tie it on the outside. And that'll be pretty simple. So I'm going to grab one of my bigger needles, my needles that I use to sew my signatures together and go ahead and poke the holes and put the twine through. So get them the way that you want them all lined up. Make sure that all the spine parts are up against the back of the cover spine. And I'm just going to stick a couple paper clips on. So they stay together right down near the spine part and then I have my poker tool here and I'm just going to do two holes just kind of evenly spaced it's about an inch from the end there And then I have this red and white cotton twine that is from the Dollar Tree. Any kind will work. You can use like the wax thread or whatever you want. And then I have these little neat, larger needles that have a larger head so you can thread them easily or easier, I guess. <laughs> Go ahead and thread your needle. Alright, I had to get, pull out the big guns here, the, <laughs> my larger needle with the bigger head, or the bigger hole at the head there, because I wasn't getting it threaded. So anyway, let's, I make, whenever I sew my signatures in, I always go three times the length of the book, or the how tall the book is. So I'm just going to measure three times here and snip that off. Oop. I'm going to go the other way here. I'm going to have to re-thread it. Snip that. So it just gives you plenty to work with and so you can make a bow on the outside, tie it and make a bow. I don't tie I don't put any knots on either side because, I mean, this is pretty easy. We're just doing two holes this time. So I'm just going to go from the outside through. Just make sure you don't pull it all the way through. You need to leave yourself some out there and then just go through the other hole. And then you can take your needle off, even out your thread or your twine. And just go ahead and I'm going to double knot it to make it tight. So you tie one and then double knot. Make sure it's tight. 
tight there. Get it as flush to the outside and then you can go ahead and do a bow. Just like that and it leaves a little bit of a little bit hanging down. If you want to even them out you can. I'm going to do that. the way it looks like that really cute and then you can just take the paper clips off now all you need to do is decorate there's holes in the top here so I'll probably add some I have some ribbon and I have this chenille yarn that's really pretty so I'm just gonna go ahead now and just go through and decorate my cover Alright, so here's how it turned out. I really love it. I just took some tickets in there and these little labels. It's just You could put tags in there, stickers, whatever you want. And if you wanted to, you could glue ties in here if you wanted or sew some ties or just tie it all the way around with some more twine or ribbon. But I just think that's really cute. Initially, I thought maybe I could tie this here to close it but this is really hard. It's that grow grain ribbon, so it's thicker, it's hard to tie, so like in a bow or whatever, so I just used some twine up there and added some of my chenille yarn back there just to add a little bit more texture. So yeah, this is really cute, real simple little, little junk journal insert. Um, you can put this in a journal, traveler's notebook, scrapbook, whatever. Um, you could just add plain paper in here, use it as a tiny little journal to stick in your wallet, or not your wallet, but your purse. So yeah, I think it's really cute. Hopefully you enjoy this tutorial. Go ahead and check out Coco Rosso. I think that's how you pronounce it, Coco Rosso Studio. And I will have a link down for them below as well as a coupon code. And I'll list all the things that I showed you at the beginning of this video so you can check them out. If you don't have a Sizzix, I'll also link that down below in my Amazon uh, affiliate listings there and anything else that I have used today. So yeah, 
Hopefully you liked this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.